गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट आई वेलकम यू टू माई क्लास एंड टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू न्यू पोएम जोग्राफी लेसन एंड एज यू कैन सी रिटर्न ऑन द बोर्ड द पोएट जुल्फिकर घोष सो जोग्राफी लेसन इज रिटर्न बाई जुल्फिकर घोष ना इन दिस पोएम द पोएम डिस्क्राइब द सीन ऑफ द सिटी एंड द कंट्री फ्रॉम द एरोप्लेन I don't know whether you have sat on the aeroplane or not, but whenever you will get chance, children, you can see from the aeroplane the beautiful scene of the city below. The houses and the tree look that much small. The roads look like as if it's a snake going. Okay, in the zigzag manner, the snake is moving. The river will look the same. Okay, so whenever you get a chance. you just sit there and enjoy your uh, plane journey so in this poem the poem describes the scene of the city and the country from an aeroplane flying high when the jet plane took off the sky was clear children sometime we have cloudy sky but at that time when the jet jet plane took off the sky was clear the poet looked out from the window the poet looked out from the window the city looked neatly planned but on ground it looked without plan or uh, order so when he looked the city it looked neatly planned but when he used to look at the city from the ground it looked as if it is not planned okay he feel nothing is in order whether the roads or the houses or the tree or the temple nothing is in order it had numerous lanes and houses without a style or symmetry so he is telling it has various lanes or um, houses without a uh, style or symmetry when the aeroplane flew at a height of 10000 feet above the sea level now children when he was sitting and that aeroplane was flying at the height of 100000 feet above the sea level he looked below and realized the logic of geography then he realized the importance of geography it became clear to him why the cities in every country are situated on the river banks secondly the people live chiefly in the valleys this is the level land between the hills land and water are primary needs of life they attract people so land and water they are the primary needs of life they attract people when the plane rose as high above the ground as 6 miles the earth looked round it had more water than land the poet understood the reason why it was so but he could not see any logic behind the division of land by raising walls of bricks and hatred and why people went madly after madly after one another's throat so he children the plane rose high above the ground as 6 mile the earth looked round and it had more water than land what he saw from the plan it had more water than land the poet understood the reason why it was so but he could not see any logic behind the division of land by raising wall of bricks and hatred and why people went madly after one and the throat why there is a fight why there is a hatred in the world he did till now he did not understood now i would be reading the poem the student and you can listen when the jet is sprang into the sky it was clear why the city had developed the way it had seeing it scale 6 inches to the mile there seemed an inevitability about what on ground had looked haphazard unplanned and without a style when the jet sprang into the sky when the jet reached 10000 feet 
it was clear why the country had city where the rivers ran and why the valleys were populated the logic of geography that land and water attracted man was clearly delineated when the jet reached 10000 feet when the jet rose 6 miles high it was clear the earth was round and that it had more sea than land but it was difficult to understand that the men on the earth found causes to hate each other to build wall across cities and to kill from that height it was not clear why so children this is the poem which i have read and i've already told you the important point that uh, the poet described the scene of the city and the country from an aeroplane flying high when the children plane took off the sky was clear the poet looked out from the window the city looked neatly planned but on ground it looked without plan or order it had numerous lanes and houses without styles or symmetry when the aeroplane flew at a height of 10,000 feet above the sea level and when he looked from the window what did he found he found and he realized the logic of geography it became clear to him why the cities in every uh, country are situated on the river bank children why it is situated on the river bank because children the people get the water to drink the people will uh, have all the water bodies children since uh, the ancient civilization if you will see the whole situa situation civilization was situated uh, on the uh, bank of the river indus valley civilization van gogh egyptian civilization okay situated beside nile river indus valley situated which which right uh, so many rivers were there okay and then um, van gogh china all the civilization and then this uh, mesopotamian civilization it was also there it was also um, situated on the uh, along the coast of the river so then he realized in when he used to see the city from the ground he used to see that uh, why he used to feel that that there's no regularity in making the houses roads building but when he saw from the airport he understood the city was very much nicely planned and situated along the banks of the river uh, children secondly the people lived chiefly in the valleys the level land between the hill land and water are the primary needs of the you know, life um, where they are they are will be attracting the people when the plane rose as high above the ground as six miles the earth looked round it had more water than land the poet understood the reason why it was so but he could not see any logic behind the division of land by raising walls of brick and hatred and why people are killing each other they are fighting each other they are showing hatred with each other this he did not understand now the explanation of the first uh, uh, i will be doing the explanation of the first um, stranger when the jet sprang into the sky it was clear why the city Jet means children here, jet aeroplane. Jet here means jet aeroplane. It was clear why the city had developed the way it had, seeing it. Uh, scaled six inches to the mile they seem an inevitable inability sprang means moved went up then in inevitability something unavoidable. 
what about on ground had looked haphazard. Okay, so now the explanation part. I've written the important word new jet planes here. Jet plane sprang means move, went up, inevitability means something unavoidable, half sort means without proper order. Okay, so when the jet plane sprang into the sky, it was clear why the city had developed the way it had. Seeing it scaled six inches to the mile, there seemed an inevitability about what on ground had looked haphazard, unplanned and without a style when the jet sprang into the sky. So the uh, children, now I will be doing the explanation, difficult word meaning, new word meaning I have written on the board. Uh, when the jet sprang into the sky, okay. It was clear why the city had developed the way it had. Now when the poet sat on the plane, when it flew high, then he realized how nicely the city had developed the way it should be. Seeing it scaled six inches to the mile. So how much he scaled it six inches uh, to the mile. Okay. There seemed an inevitability. Inevitability means something unavoidable. About what on ground had looked has haphazard. Children, it was looking unavoidable. When he was seeing all these things from the ground, it was looking unavoidable. Okay, that means without proper order. Unplanned and without style. It was unplanned. He used to see that the whole city, when he used to look from the ground, he used to see the whole city is as if it is made without any order or plan and uh, unplanned and it is without a style. And, but when he sat on the jet plane, everything was different. Okay, so children, these lines are taken from which poem? Geography lesson. The poet described here the scene or the planned scene of the city. When he went up from there, what he realized? He realized that the city is fully planned. What does the poet notice? The poet noticed when he was the, in the ground that the city was not planned properly. The line there seemed an inevitability mean we can't avoid the way the city had spread the he started thinking the way the city had spread it was without plan it sprang children in the above stranger mean went up here it sprang means went up. So these are the difficult word meaning which you have to note it down and you have to learn it. And now children, I will be uh, teaching you the second stanza of the poem. When the jet reached 10,000 feet, it was clear why the country had cities where the river ran and why the valleys were populated the logic of geography that land and water attracted man was clearly delineated when the jet reached 10,000 feet. So, 
then the jet reached 10000 feet when he was uh, sitting on the plane uh, which was uh, which rose uh, 10000 feet above it was clear why the country had cities where the river ran now children he realize for the first time that all the city were not only well planned but they were uh, situated along the coast of the river and why the valleys were populated and then he realized that there were no houses on the mountain but the valleys were very much populated so children now he understand the logic of geography that it is land and it is water it is land and it is water that uh, attract man the land and water Ma attract man and um, there they make houses there they are situated was clearly delineated the meaning of logic logic means reason and the other word is shown okay so uh, when the jet reached 10,000 feet it was clear so children again he when the jet reached very high uh, above the distance of uh, 10,000 feet then it was clear to the uh, run, poet that why the country and city were the situated where the river ran okay that means why the cities are well planned and situated near the river and the valleys and why the valleys were populated that means why people were living there because you know it is the land which attract the people see it is written here the logic of geography that means the reason of geography is that that land and water attract man it is the land and water is attract man and was clearly shown when the jet reached 10,000 feet and this was clearly delineated delineated means it was clearly shown to the uh, poet that uh, it is the land and the water uh, it attracted man so children the poet here is Julfikar Ghosh which region of the earth is thickly populated here children valleys and of course bank of the near the coast of the uh, bank of the river what do people want the most of that settlement they want water of course and land the jet aeroplane was flying at the height of 10,000 feet and children didn't it means shown here okay so these are important word meaning I have also discussed here. Now I will be explaining the third paragraph. When the jet rose six miles high, it was clear the earth was round and that it had more sea than land. But it was difficult to understand that the man on the earth found causes to hate each other to build walls across city and to kill from that height it was not clear why so children causes here means reason causes here means reason and uh, uh, okay so when the jet rose six miles high again children he is sitting in a plane in the jet plane which is rising six uh, miles high it was clear the earth was round it was clear to him that the earth was round and now children this time the jet he sat in the plane which rose more higher so it was clear that uh, um, that the earth was round and that it had more sea than land and it had more sea than land 
but it was difficult to understand that the man on the earth found causes to hate each other and children then he realized that that um, water bodies were more than the land he saw two things from the plane he realized that the earth is round and there is more water bodies than the land but it was difficult to understand that the men on the earth found cause to hate each other but he is telling me now i came to know that why the city which before i was confused that the cities are not well planned but when he sat on the plan he realized many things that the cities are very much well planned and they are situated in the valleys and the near the bank of the river it is the land and water which attracts the man but he is and he also realized that the earth was round okay in the third paragraph it is clearly shown that the poet realized that the scene in fact that the earth is round and there is more water bodies than the land but one thing he did not understand it was very difficult for him to understand and what was that that the man or the earth found causes to hate each other every human being hate each other to build wall across city and to kill from that height it was near not clear why he had built a wall across city okay there is a separation between division between city and children they are killing each other there is a war going on from that height it was near clear why now he is sitting and traveling in a plane he is six miles high but then he could not realize that why people hate each other why there is a war, a war going on with each other okay so um, where is the poet uh, the poet is sitting in a jet plane which is fly, flying six miles high what is the first thing that he notices from a height of six mile in the sky he notices that the earth is round um, what is the second thing that he notices from the height that he notices that the earth has more sea than land then what does he find difficult to understand from the height that why people hate and kill each other he, it is very difficult for him to understand that why people hate and kill each other now children what is the opposite of love it is hate okay so with this I have completed all the uh, main, uh, completed the poem and the main points of the poem once again I will be telling you that it, at first the poem uh, poet was not able to realize uh, that what is going on. Okay, then he realized that the city is well planned, situated near the land and near the bank of river. He also noticed that the earth is round. Okay, and... Um, there are more water bodies than the land but one thing he could not understand until now it's very difficult to understand it why people hate each other why people dislike each other why people hate and kill one another why there is a fight and the feeling of hatred okay so now we are i've done the explanation i've told you about the difficult word meaning now finally we are going to discuss the ncr textbook question and some additional question so find three or four phrases in stranger one and two which are likely to occur in a geography lesson like scaled six inches to the mile valleys were populated land and water attracted man so these are the three uh, things okay which we will be reading many times in our geography book question number two seen from the window of an aeroplane the city appear there are three answers are there, children. As haphazard as on ground, as neat as a map, as developed as necessary. So the third point I think is the most appropriate, as developed as necessary. Mention two things that are clear from the height. Clear, the clear from the height, that means the, the earth is round and it has more sea than land not clear from the height not clear from the height at why man hate each other and built across the fight 
wilt uh, across the wilt um, walls across the cities and why they fight okay so uh, these are the things now children i would be reading at uh, few additional question what is this poem geography lesson is about geography lesson is about that earlier the poet did not realize he used to feel the cities are not well planned but when he sat on the plane he realized the cities are very much well planned and they are people are situ making houses near the banks of the river and on the valley as the land and water always attracted human being now children um, he also realized when he sat the from the plane which was me um, children moving very high six uh, uh, miles below the sea above the sea level which was very high he realized that the uh, earth was round and it was uh, the earth has more water bodies than land but then he found one thing which was difficult to understand that why people hate each other why they kill why walls are built across the city what does the poet fail to understand from the height of 10000 feet the poet failed to understand from the height of 10000 feet that the why people hate and kill one another and why um, they hate badly with each other and build wall across the city how should we live on the earth we should live on the earth in a very friendly manner uh, we should uh, help the mankind we should not help we should have uh, live in the children um, the in a way the people should live love each other help each other uh, they should be kind toward each other now children now question answer what lesson of geography did the poet learn when he flew about his city as the poet flies in a jet he noticed that the city below were not properly planned he could see why it was so from a height of 10000 feet he noticed that valleys were populated it was quite reasonable and understandable it was the compulsion of geography that people should settle down in places with flat land and plenty of water and food it is quite illogical why people hate and kill one another it is greatly inhuman so now children one more question uh, you have to write the summary of the poem in your own work so how are you going to write it so we can say this poem is written by Jalfikar Khosh and here the poet flew over the city in a jet plane so he is flying over the city in a jet plane he found the city spread in a disorderly manner but he knew it was inevitable it was unavoidable from the height of 10,000 feet he saw the rivers and valley he well understand why the valleys were populated because it is the land and it is the water which attracts a lot of people. It was the logic of geography. From a height of six miles, he noticed that the earth was round and had more seas than land. But he failed to understand why people hate each other and uh, divided the land into separate units and killed each other uh, so children uh, then another important question can be children that what in the when he sat on the plane uh, what he noticed from the height so what he noticed when he sat on the plane for the second time he found that the earth has more uh, land more sea than land okay then he find difficult to understand from the height that uh, why people hate and kill each other why they build a wall 
so all this thing children we have to this then we come in the uh, short one word question so in the examination you will can get one word question you can get uh, 30 to 40 words question and of course a long question like write the summary and many questions which i have discussed just now so with this i end my video here thank you and have a nice day ahead